5 o'clock on this Friday afternoon, May 2nd, 2049 on Friday afternoon. Time now for the Word Magician PJ wins the afternoon evening report. Friday, May 2nd, 2014. Good evening, everybody. Our Kirkadish is at 5 o'clock in North Message has got a temperature of 65 degrees. We have humidity at 39%. Wind speed southwest about 14 gusts under 24 miles per barometer. 20.69 inches duper about 39 degrees visibly, 10 miles. Okay, let's take a look at our radar scope. Shows a couple of inches of rain. Rain showers around West of Manchester, New Hampshire here. A couple of inches of rain showers around Mainton, Vermont, and down for Eastern New York here. And a couple of inches of rain showers in Western and Eastern portions of Maine, up in the northern Maine, and down for Eastern Quebec, and down for Western and Central portions of New Brunswick, and a couple of inches of rain showers covered in much of Central portions of Nova Scotia with some sleep mixing in it, and I saw snow and sleet showers in the Eastern portions of Quebec here. One year earlier, removed their three-year-old brother from the. Couple of inches of rain showers in the Eastern portions of New Hampshire, and Central Vermont here. A couple of inches of rain and sleeted snow showers west central portions of Prince Edward Island there. A couple of inches of rain showers west central portions of New York, down for north western portions of Pennsylvania, and down for central Ohio and southeastern portions of Ohio. A couple of inches of rain showers in northeastern and western portions of Ontario, and eastern portions of Ontario, stretch of the metro Michigan, northern Indiana, and down for Wisconsin, and eastern portions of Minnesota, down for Iowa, down for Nebraska, and a couple of inches of rain showers in western portions of Ontario, stretch of seven portions of Manitoba down for seven points of the Saskatchewan and stretch it down for Western North Dakota down for Nova Mayan. Ten and stretch down for seven Saskatchewan down for Central Seven Alberta down for West Central portions of Alberta with some snow shots mixing in it. Sends it down for Central British Columbia. Couple of inches of rain shots in western portions of Washington. Couple of inches of rain shots in south central portions of Wyoming and south central portions of Texas. A lot of rain shots up the southeastern portions of Texas down to eastern Louisiana down to southern Mississippi. And a big band. A lot of rain shots from northern and central portions of Florida. Searching up the Georgia, Carolina, Virginia coastline and that to see here. Felton, Georgia. Good morning. It's 670 degrees. Good evening with clear skies here. 17,000 tweets went out about this player in conjunction with the N word. Satellite loop, and it shows a couple of batch of cars from Southern Texas and Iowa, Gulf of Mexico, and Eastern Mexico, and searching it up to Amphis, Southeastern coastline, and then a couple of batches of Patchy Cloud that's covered in New England and Atlantic, and then searching under Great Lakes and Amphis, Central Missouri Valley, and a couple of batch of cars from Iowa, down for the Dakotas, and searching up in then Central. And now the Rockets are up in the in North West. And I'm about to call from Western Canada, from British Columbia, stretch out of an Ontario, and now for Quebec, and now through Nova Scotia here. Let's take a look at our map situation. Cold front off the Washington Oregon coastline, searching out for central portions of British Columbia, and then a station front from for southwestern portions of Alberta. Down for west central portions of Montana and then cold front from Wyoming, searching after Nebraska down for north central Iowa, down up in the middle of the sort of the warm front from southern Ontario, down for north central Wisconsin, the pick front up in the Ontario. Station front from north Mexico and searching on Gulf of Mexico, cold front from the Gulf of Mexico, searching on central Florida, and up the Atlantic seaboard here. For the from up the central southern California, searching enough the Baja California, Mexico here. These races high. Pressure in Northern California, Western portions of Texas and Louisiana, and Mississippi, here. Yeah. And low pressure in Central Washington and enough is Eastern portions of Idaho, here. Yeah. Online and they said they apologize for these remarks and they do not believe them. It is not the view of everyone. And also in Northwestern Ontario, here. Yeah. Six to seven degrees at temperature down in Boston. It's 71 out in Washington and in Atlanta. 87 in Miami. It's 70 in Brownsville. 81 in Dallas, Texas. 67 in Kansas City. 31 in Chicago and 55 in Minneapolis. 62 in Great Falls in Seattle. 72 in San Francisco. 89 in Los Angeles. 69 in Albuquerque. 75 in Salt Lake City and 73 out in Denver. Here. All right. Current conditions, man, we've got it. Temperature is 67 degrees. Temperature reading for Boston, 64 in Fitchburg and Bedford. 77 in Beverly, 57 in Gloucester, 60 out in Worcester, 64 in Sturbridge, 64 in Webster, 67 out in Milford, 68 in Taunton, 66 in Taunton. Then in Bedford, 68 in Norwood, 59 in Parfitan, 62 in Falmouth, 61 in Chatham, 65 in Marsville, and 58 in Nantucket, 52 out in Cape Cod Bay, 57 in Block on 62 in Westley, 64 in TF Green, 64 in Smithfield, 68 out in Springfield, 62 in Amherst, and in Greenfield, 61 in Orange, 58 in North Adams, 59 in Pittsfield, 62 in Normandy, 58 in Bennington, 61 in Keene, 61 in Cargill, 59 in 
Jeffrey Napture, 68, Manchester Napture, 68, National Napture, 69, Potsmouth, 60, Alden. Napture Bay, 55, and Boston Arbor, Temperature, 68, and Winslock, 67, and Norford, 67, and Meriden, 63, and Weather, Durberry, 63, and Denbury, and 64, New Haven, and 64, and Martyr, Bridgeport, Fayetteville, Long Island Sound, 62, and Montauk, 63, and Nisla, and 67, in New York City. All right, let's take a look at our. Podcast discussion here in around the country. Cooler weather with some showers will move eastward along the northern and states. But warmth moves eastward from the west coast and across the western to the central and southern plain states. Preservation will be common across the northwest wall. The showers and thunderstorms over Florida will gradually clear from northwest to the southeast. And states will cool air will remain over the northern and central Canada wall. Some of that make its way south and eastward along the northern interior in the United States in the next three days. The next shot of Chile will be moving across the northern plains, the northern Mississippi Valley, and in the Great Lakes, and then the northeast and Saturday and Sunday. Some rain showers will also be occurring in the area. Warm conditions over the west coast yesterday moving across, eastward across the intermountain west, the central and southern Rockies, into portions of the southern and central plains over the Next three days, the temperatures are likely to rise in the 90s, with the dangers of wildfires increasing over the southern plain states as main dry. Meanwhile, temperatures have already cooled off from San Francisco, northward to Seattle, as the streets of wet weather systems will return to northwest, bringing several days of showers and lowering snow levels in the Cascades. Southeast will see a gradual warm up in the next few days, as the cold front continues to be a move slowly eastward across the extreme southeast coast across Florida. With a little rain expected across flood barriers northwest of Florida, the rest of the state experiences an enhanced period of rain and embedded heavy thunder showers. Skies will be clear, likely across the entire state by Sunday. Yeah. For Forecast discussion around New England here. As late showers should come to an end this evening in Lawrence for dry weather overnight. Another week to start wing and chances of showers late in the day on Saturday, followed by a strong disturbance on Sunday. Our fears from Sunday can produce small hail and gusty winds. Dry seasonable weather falls from midweek and another chance of showers toward the end of next week. Four thirty p.m. update as late showers continue to stream across the region early this evening and cooler air aloft to combine with a maximum heating today with steeping on the lower level blocks. Creates a vectorized kilometers with a maximum across the north. Hampshire across the central hills of Massachusetts continue to mention the potential of a scattered showers in north of the Mass Pike with just an isolated trench southward. These showers are not producing a lot of perspective. They just attract the hand with and clear skies. The afternoon will try to clear up once the real heating is lost. However, still with some moisture in the middle levels that is distorted in the cross sections to keep a moistly cloudy sky this evening. And for many years to come. We don't have short wave will off with a moving well offshore allowing tonight for some scattered showers were coming in and as our very weak bridge will be to quickly move front to the floor as another short wave over the <laughs> upper Midwest moves toward New England by tomorrow. It appears there will be some in the cloud, the cloud cover overnight, which may help in decoupling and dropping in their surface temperatures. However, gradient is says confidence is low with so kept minimum temperatures at all. So, you above getting overnight overall temperatures will be in low the upper 40s here. And tonight's lows, we will see you 46 for Boston, 46 for Worcester, 32 for Hartford, 55 for New York City, 42 in Albany, 43 in Rutland, 45 in Concord, and 44 in Portland, Maine. So, tonight's temperature range, we will see 42 to 55 degrees here. And we're going to take a look at our weather school 101 here. And do I assist me? Is my good buddy. Grover! Hello, everybody! Grover? Yes, Peter? Do you know what today's word is? It's a damn burst. And Grover! Yes, Peter? Do you need to tell me what a damn burst means? Oh, sure, Peter! A strong will to be smaller, you of rapidly descending air beneath a thunderstorm with potential to cause damage or, or near the ground. Two types depending on damage map. Thank you, Grover. You're welcome. A downburst is a strong, relatively small area of rapidly descending air beneath. A thunderstorm with potential to cause damage on or near the ground. Two types depending on damage amounts. Downburst versus tornado can cause equivalent damage and downburst spread are, are near service. This is the left picture. And tornado to stay on the near attraction. This is the right picture. A macro burst greater area damage extends more than two and a half miles and Microburst small air damage extends less than two and a half miles and damage has been clocked locally at 104 miles apart in Worcester, Massachusetts in 1998 and Whitman, Massachusetts in 1996. Warren sounds like a freight train associated with them and they are often confused with tornadoes and that's what a damn burst is. Alright, let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this. 
Fire the day. Podcast got low on 46 degrees. Southwest wind about 5 to 9 miles per coming coming after midnight. Saturday, check your shots. Mainly after 4 p.m. Most of the sun's got down here. 71 degrees. Black west wind about coming southwest about 6 to 11 miles per hour in the morning. China preservation 30%. Sign it up. Saturday night, chance of showers. Slight chance of showers on Saturday night with some thunderstorms possible. Most of the class got down 47 degrees southwest, moving about 5 to 7 miles by chance of precipitation is 20%. Sunday, chance of showers. Then showers likely and possibly a thunderstorm after 4 p.m. But the sun's got down near 62 degrees west, moving about 10 to 14 miles by chance of precipitation is 6%. New rainfall amounts between a 10 to a quarter and an inch, except how much possible in thunderstorms. Sunday night, a chance of showers and thunderstorms pull forward 10 p.m. Then a slight chance of showers between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. Most class got higher, low near 44 degrees. West wind about 10 to 13 miles per hour, chance of precipitation is 30%. Monday, slight to chance of showers. Most of the sky down here, 61 degrees, chance of precipitation is 20%. Monday night, podcast got low 44 degrees. Tuesday, most of the sky down here, 62 degrees. Tuesday night, podcast got low 43 degrees. And Wednesday, science sky down here, 61 degrees. Wednesday night, podcast got low 43 degrees. Thursday, chance of showers, but the sky down here, 63 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 30%. Thursday night, chance of showers, most of the sky got low 40 degrees, chance of precipitation is 30%. And for Friday, a chance of showers. Most class got 966 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 30%. Fitters, what a phrase of the night! Of the evening, a part got day on tap and a shower day on tap the ball. And if you're going to the Red Sox game against the Oakland A's at game time 7 10 p.m., you are going to see temperature at game time at the first pitch at 60 degrees and wind chill about 58 in. Wind speed what's about west up what's about 10 miles per hour. Park class got sold. If you go on a game bring even like check it the review because it could get a little bit chilly. That's a page must be have a good evening with a good positive attitude. I'll see you at 11. Have a good evening.